Who Made God? Which many people think is the game set and match question uh, for Christians. And um, here's a, a, an example. This time the excerpt is taken from the famous Alabama debate which preceded the Oxford debate. So here's the issue. Oh, I should say just before the clip comes that the gentleman in the centre of the screen is the moderator. And um, what he did, what, not the, of the Church of Scotland, um, Susan, another kind of moderator altogether. Um, but what he did was to, uh, because this was the God delusion debate, and what he did was to read excerpts from the God delusion, ask Richard Dawkins for a comment, and John Lennox for a response. What you wrote what is you... this. The whole argument turns on the familiar question, who made God? which most thinking people discover for themselves. A designer God cannot be used to explain organized complexity because any God capable of designing anything would have to be complex enough to demand the same kind of explanation in his own right. This argument, as I shall show in the next chapter, demonstrates that God, though not technically disprovable, is very, very improbable indeed. I want to address the who designed the designer question because it's the old schoolboy question, who created God? I, I'm actually very surprised to find it as a central argument in your book because it assumes that God is created. And I'm not surprised therefore that you call the book the God delusion because created gods are by definition a delusion. <laughs> now I know and I ought to explain that Richard doesn't like people who say to him that they don't believe in the God he doesn't believe in. But I think that this is possibly touching a sore spot because you leave yourself wide open to the charge. After all, you are arguing that God is a delusion. And in order to weigh your argument... You, that. you said what? I, I said that it is you who's arguing that God is a delusion. Oh, sorry. All right, thanks. And in order to weigh that argument, I need to know what you mean by God. And if you say, if there is a God, you have to ask who created God, that means that you're reduced to thinking about created gods. Well, none of us believe in created gods, Jews, Muslims, or Christians. The God who created the universe, ladies and gentlemen, was not created. He is eternal. This is the fundamental distinction between God and the universe. It came to exist, he did not. And this is precisely the point the Christian apostle John makes at the beginning of his gospel. In the beginning was the Word. The Word already was. All things came to be by him. God is uncreated. The universe was created by him.